talking to Andrew Sharon today about uh, a little mobile gaming. So, Andrew, what, what led you, what were you doing before gaming, and what took you to gaming? So, I mean, I've been involved with the web since, like, 1996, and uh, I did a lot of web development, uh, design, like, really kind of focused on, like, the design part with, like, development, and, like, after a while, I felt like I wasn't really growing with design, so I decided I wanted to, like, really kind of, like, get into Flash, and I, like, it's kind of randomly found this job at an awesome company called Blue Earth Interactive, and uh, they had, like, a ton of kids' games that needed to be developed for um, Oxford Fortress, and so, like, I... It was cool because like it was like a number I had like you know a couple of games like one or two games like within a week that I needed to crank out and so like not only was I able to like really like dive in and learn game development but also at the same time learn Flash and I like really like kind of fell in love with game development so I, um, I started off with uh, procedural programming and then ended up really getting into object oriented and I just like really loved writing code. Adobe Air was that that just a natural extension from you working within Flash and and, and yeah, I mean, on I your really, like I really got good at Flash. I mean, I like worked in Flash like you know forty hours a week, you know like fifty weeks a year for years, and I got really really good and proficient at it. And I you know one of the options was like with the Objective C route or like Java route for Android, but um, you know there was a huge learning curve, and I didn't have a lot of time to like be efficient with that. And so Flash really gave me a great opportunity to like just like do some killer things that I got, you know, that I could like crank out really fast, um, you know, efficiently. So like some of the gaming stuff that I, you know, work that I like create in Flash, um, you know, in 40 hours you know, would take me like 200 hours in Objective-C just because I'm not familiar with the environment. So it just really comes down to efficiency. That's what I'm good at. And so um, that was like the next logical step. One, you know, I really want to be a mobile developer and, you know, instead of like doing it through Objective-C or Java, I did it through Adobe Air. I decided like, you know, what can I do to like make this like golden app, like a golden nugget that I can like, you know, retire and like, you know, so like, you know, just whatever you like, independent mobile developer wants, you know, and so I ended up coming up with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically it's like the same thing, it's like a different variation, and you know, it's like, for Jews, and so basically you're like, you know, what it is, a Sudoku in Hebrew, and so, like, you know, one of the skins is Hebrew, you know, one of them is like menorahs and dreidels and stuff like that, and, you know, I, so I figure, like, you know, it's like, kind of like, you know, it's like a kind of a cool little niche, so what ended up happening is I got this note, so on 8-19-2011, we received a notice from blah, 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 and this, I got this from Apple, this is an email. We got a notice from Blah 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 Consulting that Blah 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 Consulting believes that your application named Judoku infringes Blah 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 Consulting's LLC intellectual property rights. So anyway, you know, so I ended up changing it to... Hebrew. The Hebrew, yeah. <laughs> so, which, you know, it's a Hebrew Sudoku, so, and it's all good, so it was like a good learning experience. I Tell me about what potential do you see for brands, what potential do you see for businesses generating revenue from, from mobile gaming? That is the million dollar question, actually. Like, how do you, like, get that return on the investment? I mean, um, and uh, I think that, you know, I think that you know, companies like General Mills are really kind of trying to, like, figure that out right now. It's like, you know, I mean, they, like, really, like, you know, for gaming with them, I mean, they do a lot of games for Lucky Charms and the series against for Gogurt, and it really doesn't generate revenue, but, it, like, what it does is it, like, it gives the brand awareness. So, you know, the kids will start, you know, playing the games with Lucky or, Buzz from like, internet Cheerios, and they'll like kind of like you know become um, you know they'll just you know become more aware of these brands and these cereals. Um, as far as gaming goes, um, I don't know. It's, that's you know obviously the question, the, the big question that I'm trying to sort out for myself as well. Like you know where is the market there? Um, so so I'm still I'm still kind of trying to sort that out. So what word know. of advice do you have uh, for a developer who wants to get into some gaming? And just do, do it. Just, just do so, it. So I mean, you know, like find that tool. I mean, I'm like, I, I love Flash, but you know, find that tool that you're good at, and um, you know, do make a little game. I mean, whether it's like a little like HTML5 experiment, um, you know, building it with JavaScript or like you know whatnot, or some sort of like JavaScript library. Um, you know, Flash, or if you wanted to like take on Objective C or you know, whatnot, just like pick that language and come up with a very simple idea and just do it. So, and then, I mean, it's, it's an experience, you know, like you might be like hugely successful or you might fail, but you've done it and then you can build off of that. You talked a lot about during your presentation, you talked a lot about, you know, just trying to educate yourself and try different things and experiment with different things. What's the next thing that you're really interested in, in, in toying with? 
Um, definitely, like with the game development side of things, yeah, I, I've been working with like you know, developing or like animating and building these games with code, um, but also using the timeline. And I really want to get into the concepts of glitting, which is basically like I mean, it's just like another gaming. It's like a more advanced uh, way of building games uh, with uh, you know Flash. And you can do glitting with HTML5 or like any type. I mean, so but you can like do a lot more as far as like animations, and particle effects, and stuff without like decreasing performance. So it's really like doing some like very advanced things with, um, and, but yet like per, being able to like have the, um, your app perform really well. Very cool. Thanks for spending some time with me, man. Oh yeah, thank you. That's a, this is great. I really appreciate it. Tell me what you're going to do with 130 grand once you win that from Sony and Adobe, because uh, you've got entered yourself in that <laughs> that contest. What's 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 a car, boat, yacht? What what's the plan? I think I mean you know like I would love more than anything. I mean as awesome as it is being out at General Mills, if for some crazy weird strange reason I ended up like winning this 130 dollars, 130 thousand dollars, I'd you know invest it back in myself and instead of like staying up till three o'clock in the morning and you know working a full day out at General Mills like doing this awesome work and then like coming home and uh, working another eight hours in front of the computer, you know, I you know possibly like you know take the risk of uh, you know just working on my own thing all of the time. Well you you uh, you know